collectible giveaway on this YouTube channel, Big Collectibles. And look, this Friday, Black Friday, after party extravaganza is going on 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to do our live giveaway. We're going to be giving away a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And actually, and actually, I have some important news, but I'm going to surprise everybody. It's about the giveaway. But it's, it's, it's going to get a little bit fatter, a little bit easier. Uh, so so just for showing up, just for showing up, you're going to get something. That's that's right. That's right. Uh, well, I don't want to guarantee it, but a, a, a lot of people, uh, I don't think we're going to get too many people. But I'm pretty sure everybody's going to get a little bit of love. Just make sure that you have your open C, your open C. Account set up with your crypto wallet. That's all I'm going to say, okay? In order to receive it, it's going to be from OpenSea. So you've got to have your OpenSea linked to your crypto wallet. So if you don't know what that even means, uh, go on to uh, OpenSea and go click on Connect Wallet. And uh, go through the steps of setting one up and uh, you'll be straight. Okay, this video is being promoted by Dr. Strange. Link in the description to his Spotify. Give him a listen. Give him a, shout, a try. And give him a follow on his uh, YouTube uh, channel. Throw him into the rotation. And actually, you're going to get ahead. And he's going to uh, join the festivities, the extravaganza on Friday. Uh, he actually is giving. Uh, he's contributed to the giveaway. So, um, okay. This video right here is... Gary Vanderchuk, Mark Zuckerberg, talking about metaverse stuff, big things. And then by the end of this video, you're going to discover exactly what is Gary V's feelings or, or, or his position on what VV he's going to, I'm going to have, I'm going to add it to the video here uh, because, you know, I think it's important, but all things metaverse related NFTs, I think is something we need to pay attention to, especially since sport cards and comic books are uh, starting to we're starting to see more and more of them on these platforms so as a collector we should pay attention so okay right here let, let, i'm gonna go ahead and play it and we're gonna i, I, I want to preface this with saying look, you know how i made a video about uh world of warcraft and stuff i want to mention that people are investing money into world of warcraft game or Minecraft, Fortnite, Roblox. My kids are always saying, "I want, Daddy, I want Robux, Robux money, to, so I can get a new skin." You know, if you don't know what that means, uh, you look differently in this virtual world to your friends. And the same thing with World of Warcraft. You can go and spend gold and, and get, I don't know, whatever. And and people have jobs. People, you can go and play this game, get these hard to find uh, gear or skins sell them for gold, in-game gold, and then turn around and sell your gold for real money. People are, will pay you $50, $100, $5,000, whatever it is, depending on the amount of gold, for that, So it, for the in-game currency, because they don't want to go and put in the work and the grind. And, you know, they don't want to put in 20 hours to grind for that skin. They just, they, they just want to go and pay you $500 for it. So, you, you know, we have to see this has been going on for years. And they're going to go ahead and touch on that. But I, remember, these games, World of Warcraft, Roblox, um, Fortnite, Minecraft, they that's what they do. They make a lot of money. And think about it. At the end of the day, you you can't take these skins with you. Now, Roblox, they're, you know, they're talking about joining the blockchain and this and that. But, you know, people, are, these companies are making millions, billions of dollars selling these digital assets and yet, you don't even truly own, own them. You can't take them with you. So, and if you don't know who Gary Vee is, he's super rich guy, super successful, on top of things, invested in Facebook and Twitter and all craziness. He, he aspires uh, to own the New York Jets. He owns um, Vayner Media, media company. Uh, obviously, he's interviewing Mark Zuckerberg. So, he's super famous, all right? Crypto kitties. We started seeing that early kind of wave of, you know, NFTs, right? Uh, that was like kind of like the thing that uh, punks did not hit my radar, but Crypto Kitties did in seventeen. Um, and obviously now this has been the year of NFTs, the way we know them, whether it's Board Ape, what I do with V Friends, obviously punks, and many cool cats, many, many, many projects. 
one of the reasons it was very easy for me when I really dug in late last year to believe in this was actually because of Farmville on Facebook. Hmm. You know, when, when I, there was two things that happened right, to me during that era. Farmville on Facebook, right. oh my God, people are buying these digital sheep because they want the social currency to show their friends they're good at it. And then Zay Frank, I don't remember, I don't know if you remember Zay Frank, yeah. remember? Uh-huh. Zay Frank, who's one of the first video bloggers, he had people buy virtual ducks as little tip jars and have their name hover over it. And those were the first times I was like, oh my God, people are gonna buy virtual things, virtual currency. In my book, Thank You Economy, I talk a lot about virtual currency in 2010, 11. Was it natural for you to believe in what's happening right now with NFTs because of the things like Farmville that happened on your platform? Well, I've always been a pretty big believer in virtual goods. So I think from that perspective, yeah. But I think a lot of the the magic of... Um, of NFTs and a lot of the Web3 work is that it's designed in a way to be fundamentally interoperable. So I think that that's going to be really important because it'll help break down these silos between different apps and make it so that all your stuff can be just um, you know more portable Yours. between these different experiences, which I think increasingly is what people are going to expect. Um, but so I, and I think that that's going to be a big part for creators of making it really worth investing in because you know if you're if you're designing a digital good for um, for Farmville and it only works within there, then like I, I don't know. I mean, it's it, you it's know, limited. You, you kind of get to the point where most of the people who are going to be building that. Yeah, I mean, Zynga, I mean to, right? to your point, here here's the world we live in now. You're a young kid and you're in Minecraft or Roblox. You grow up and you want to go to Fortnite. All that money you invested is kind of stuck in there. In the world that you're talking about right now, the, the the Roblox and Minecraft of the future, when you're done with that, you're just gonna trade it for your Fortnite stuff. You're gonna trade the Fortnite stuff or sell it. Or it's all gonna be in that one global ecosystem. Right. Yeah, I mean the analogy that I that I like to think about is, you know, you, I I like your Knicks hoodie, Thank but you, it's sir. you know, it's a, imagine if you bought a jersey and you could only use it in the sports arena. That when where you bought it, right. right? It's like that would that would be sort of lame, and it would yep. um, reduce the value of buying it, right? That's so, right. Um, because you know who's going to want to buy something if they can only use it in 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 that arena? I mean, some people would, but but a fraction of the number of people who would who would want to buy it if they could use it in all these different places. And then if the amount of commerce is going to be less, then that's going to attract fewer creators. So I think having it be more interoperable is going to be key to making the whole thing so dynamic. What's interesting about that, in a much more interesting human behavior way, is people will wear it, to your point, it's limiting. What's also interesting is the clout, the equity, the social currency carries more weight from a tribalism behavior standpoint in Madison Square Garden, which I'm looking at right now. So, so I'm gonna pause it right there. They're bringing up excellent points. You know, people, Farmville, uh, people are spending big time, money, and time into these platforms, these games, and they, they can't take them with with themselves. They, they can't do anything with them. The fact with NFTs, you can go ahead and sell them. You don't have to worry about putting mailing a, a physical item or having your kids tear it up or losing it or having someone steal it. It's all security locked down on the blockchain. This is huge, huge, huge. Now, I'm going to go ahead and go to another part of the video where I found that it was pretty interesting. And this right here is is what I wanted to show. It's it's people. A lot of people are saying uh, they're against NFTs because they it makes no sense. But the thing is, people are already spend, spending or investing a lot of money into digital assets that they do not own. That's so so. Bam! That throws that out. That oh, people are not going to buy that. People are already buying it, and they don't even own it. They'll go and, and go to Facebook and Farmville, whoever, one of these things, and, and they'll go and, and invest. And uh, in, I say the word in, invest, but they'll go and, and buy these items and they don't even own it. Uh, Facebook can lock them out. Uh, and I've had my face, several Facebook accounts banned. And and why is it because when I was a media buyer, it's 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 a whole nother story. Nothing to do with NFTs and, and VV. But um, so it's. You, 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 and then what ha- you lose everything. You lose everything. So what, what then? You know. But with NFTs on the blockchain, that's a whole other story. So uh, let, let me just play this, man. I'm talking too much. Honest with you, I actually think that's the punchline. You consciously or subconsciously made that decision to represent yourself, and I think that going digital is going to be 
extraordinary. See? Yeah. I really do. I really think that people are grossly underestimating that almost all the things we've been doing are about to get more visual, more collateralized, more obvious, right? Like, I don't. Okay, so pretty much, you know, uh, not only are people already spending the money in buying digital assets, to their skins, and, and uh, you know, uh, whatever it is, digital assets to su support somebody. If you see a, a YouTuber um, and he's got an NFT and you think he's cool and you think maybe that you want to support him, you'll go and, and buy the NFT and it's a digital asset that you'll own, but it supports that, that person, you know, or that, that art or what have you. So, you know, be, because of that, you know, I think a lot of people, I, mean, I pu had paused it on a, on a Mark Zuckerberg was, was looking all funny. So it was bothering me. So, um, you know, we have to think about the floss factor of it now. You got your skin, you got the, the kicks, you want some digital mags, you want some uh, a digital Knicks jersey, which I think everybody should invest in. And I'm just kidding. So, you know, I'm just I'm just thinking that, you know, you have these digital assets and you'll be able to with OpenSea, with VV, uh, fake Meta, you as long as they're able to link them. Or, or you, they're on your digital crypto wallet. You should, you should be able to go onto um, their a platform with your NFTs and and have them up on your on your wall or your virtual world, your virtual home, or what have you. So, uh, and and it's yours. So I think that it's very important. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna sh go to what when they specifically talk. Uh, not they. Gary V talks about uh, BB. Hold on realize oh, why whoops. they bought so I, i'd love to switch gears as much as <laughs> uh, i know that you you are like mr nft but you're also like nfts is like part of your your career obviously like you're always forward looking you're always testing you know with your own nfts in the marketplace you're launching and everything that you've been doing so you've said that 98 percent of nft projects will go to zero and called for an nft winter what do you think will be the two percent that appreciate long-term in value I'm not sure. I'm incredibly positive. My big bet is CryptoPunks, just given the nature of its status of establishment. Um, what about like IP, like, you know, like VV with NFTs and like Disney NFTs with like the, the Marvel problem, and Star, the Star the Wars? And the problem is people, I come from a collecting background, so I'm too yeah, smart. Yeah, me too. Good. So you know Promise. this. <laughs> Good. So you know this. Not, every, not even close to every Spider-Man has value. What about the first ever Spider-Man NFT? Of course. The question becomes though, which one, right? Maybe like versus on-chain versus what if Solana wins the day in 12 years? Then it's gonna be the first Solana Spider-Man, not the first ETH, right? So we're too early. See where I'm going? Yeah. There's, there's a lot to think through. You could bridge over to different chains. There's a lot to think through. What is actually an NFT versus a digital asset? Maybe closed environment. You know, decentralized. Well, it's, it's, switch, like, it's switching away from close, being a closed environment, though. It's going to be the question. Deep. The question, will, yeah, I know that, but the question will become: Will the market accept it as the first, or was it the first that minted on mainnet because hmm. they didn't got it? Because now it won't be the first that's minted. So there's only, and all of it's awesome. Like, I actually have no idea. At a minimum, but, you're having fun and you're learning about this space. You don't know, but you're willing to you know, see what's going to work. And especially for your business, because NFTs is wrapped around I also, a lot of what I, you're doing. I, I also like the fact that the results are going to be the results. I don't know. I have hunches. I will spend my money and put my reputation on the line against those hunches. And I have the humility and the confidence to navigate that. All right. So pre pretty much, you know, he's, he's saying that, he 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 didn't want to say anything positive or negative. He he just he's saying facts. You know the facts are, you know it it they could be the winners, and them having the first appearance of these NFTs of these characters on NFTs. The, yeah, for sure that's gonna be it. You know, but who knows what tomorrow is gonna bring? And that's just when the internet first came out. Uh, a you had AOL, you had uh, then uh, Yahoo. Uh, these are big dogs back in the day. I don't know, uh, you know, how old everybody is watching, but these back in the days in, in the mid '90s when internet was popping off, 
that was like that was it. There was no such thing as Google. Now we think Google was, was you know, always been around. No, <laughs> no, no, no. So, you know, obviously with time, it's, you know, everything changed. So, uh, you know, again, that's what his point is. You know, if you dig deep, it's like, I don't know. He has hunches, you know, he's and, and you've got the, you know, uh, the, the, the open sea NFTs, uh, you know, a lot of popular ones, uh, super expensive ones. So, you know, he talked about the, the crypto punks and whatnot. So, you know, uh, you, you just don't know. But the point is getting in, getting in. And he's saying the large majority of them are going to go to zero. But the thing is, when you look at Vivi, the, it, the, look at comic books and other collectib collectibles. Well, again, I've mentioned this in other videos. Hulk 181 is everybody wants to fight and 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 not everybody uh, people say 180 should be considered as the first appearance of wolverine and that should be the one that's worth more money but that isn't the case who dictated the 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 price of 181 that 181 is going to be worth more than 180 it's the people the demand and who are the who is behind the demand the people us people who are buying investing we determine that so it's not it's not it's not VV, it's not Meta, it's not OpenSea. They're, they, if it was up to them, they would be number one. But no, who? Did, it's us, just like card grading. Who determined that PSA? Now, we all have, have different opinions, but who determined it? It's the, the mass majority of the people going to PSA. Now, I feel differently, but you know what? It doesn't matter what I feel. It's the majority. It's the majority. So what are the majority going to say? Are they going to go to Vivi? I think they are because you know why? Vivi is easy to use. You don't have to deal with a crypto wallet and linking. And a lot of people, most of the people don't want to deal with that. They want ease of use. They want streamlined. And guess what? That's what they brought to the system. Now, buying Omi, obviously, that's a whole nother story. But getting the actual NFTs on Vivi is easy. It's easy. And the public, that's what they want. They want easy. So just think about it. The demand is going to go to a certain platform, certain NFT. Certain, and so far with Vivi, they've got the IPs, they've got streamlined functionality, the methodology behind what they've developed is easy to consume, easy to, to uh, as, as a consumer, it's easy to just go ahead and and use their platform. I mean, yeah, the app has had issues and whatnot, but still, even with the issues, it's still easier. It's still easier at the end of the day. No, you know, you don't have to deal with the thir a third party anything. You just go in, log in, dump money in, just like, you know, you go into any app, you know, with your credit card and you just start buying NFTs and that's it. You have your collection. So, I just want to share what these, you know, smart guys are saying about the metaverse NFTs. You know, it's very important that we stay in tune with what's going on out there. Well, as always, good luck in all of your collectible investments. Let them all be profitable.